some other news Kanye West is being sued by former assistant accusing him of doping and aring her oh what do you guys think about this one this is apparently at a studio session at Diddy's studio oh oh wow look at them look at them tetes uh, what do you guys think? You guys think this is a setup because he has stuff to say about Israel? Or, oh, by the way, did you know he apologized in Hebrew? Yeah, he apologized in Hebrew for all the stuff he said about uh, Zionists and stuff like that. Yeah. So he, he bent the knee. He's like, I want my money back. Anyways, uh, what do you guys think? You think this is a setup? You think this is uh, the anti Zionist mad at him because uh, he apologized in Hebrew? Do you think, uh, what do you guys think? It's crazy, right? Another one. Uh, it's the sexual harassment lawsuit season raining down on high profile rappers this year. This after the huge Diddy scandal, which many fear may explode and implicate multiple other household names in the entertainment industry. Now it arises that controversial recording artist Kanye is also a target of a judicial complaint. Complaint. West former assistant Laura Piscotta, Piscotta claims in an exclusive lawsuit to have been drugged and banged while attending a studio session with her ex-boss Diddy. Wait, hold on. So her boss, so she worked for Diddy and he banged her? Oh, you gotta rent your own Poontang, buddy. Oh, the only, oh, she's an OnlyFans model. Looks like she's looking for a payout, to be honest with you. The OnlyFans model is alleging that during the session in studio in Santa Monica, she was given a drink laced with an unidentified drug. Uh, Piscota was already Piscota's already sued Kanye earlier this year for sexual harassment and wrongful termination. She claims to have only learned what allegedly occurred to her in the studio session much later. She alleges Wes confessed to her, uh, alleging that they did kind of hook up a little one time making a reference according to her to the night she claimed now that she was drugged west west then wife kim kardashian had allegedly been accusing him of banging pesquiota well of course look at them tatas of course you're in showbiz well you think you're in a healthy marriage bitch you got famous doing prawn. <laughs> Stupid. What dumb hoes, man. Anyways, uh, which would have prompted him, which would, which would have prompted him, still according to the plaintiff, to admit to the alleged playtime assault at the studio. Pasquiota claims she felt disgusted and numb by the rapper's revelation and decided that she had to quit working for him. However, she allegedly had to be extremely careful in the way she distanced herself per the complaint. Yes, because they are dangerous and will whack you. As she believes she would be silenced and blacklisted and retaliated against. Yes, that's generally how showbiz is. Pesquiota was reportedly fired shortly thereafter. She claims in her suit, which was originally filed in June, that she was never paid three million in severance that she was allegedly owed allegedly oh yeah she's just digging for money guys this whole thing i'm seeing is money 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 if you were if it really mattered to you you would just go for the criminal charges and that's it the only fans model also alleges to have received multiple vulgar texts from west oh oh uh, no, some more of that some more of that of course See, my problem is I was wanting to be, I was wanting to be effed, but then after I effed, I wanted a girl to tell, oh no, this is him saying it. He says, this is a quote, she says, see, my problem is I, I be wanting to be, I be wanting to fuck, but then after I fucked, I want a girl to tell me how hard they've been fucked while I'm fucking them. Then I want her to cheat on me. Uh, this is what, what he alleges was one of the um tweets now if this is real that means Kanye's a cuck which makes sense why he is he was somewhat okay with kim kardashian being with the who's that weird guy he just, he looks like he's always drugged out who's that guy anyways 
She claims that the rapper jacked it next to her before she fell asleep and allegedly got angry with her for dodging proposals to date or bang. West lawyers called Pesky Otis allegations baseless, saying that she pursued the rapper sexually. I believe it. She's, this, she's an OnlyFans, you know, girl. You know? To coerce employment and other material benefits. If she really if this really mattered to her, if she was really distraught, she would have just gone for criminal charges. Uh, again, here's another it's another uh possibility. This guy's been very vocal against Jews. We know lots of high-powered Jews are lawyers, right? Now, can one be representing her for free, trying to milk him for money, trying to bankrupt him, right? What better way to file a frivolous lawsuit and not have to worry about a counter lawsuit? than to have a lawyer who's willing to do that for free. Kind of like Avenatti, right? How he he had uh, Stormy Daniels. He, he had Stormy Daniels file a frivolous lawsuit to go after DT. Kind of the same thing. Possibly, right? Possibly. I don't know. Let's see them tapes. Let's see them titties, right? And you probably see them on her OnlyFans. They're way too big. I hate to tell you that. This is a size limit. If each one is bigger than your head, that's like way overkill. Like you're just trying too hard at that point. Plus, guys are like all tits, right? Right, Carrie, right, Sherelle, right, uh, Joanne. Joanne with the with the flawless tit because she just beat cancer, right? She beat tit cancer. 